Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2018-19. Finally, some new basketball. Panini certified basketball. Six box, second half of the case. Pick your team number two. Big thanks to these folks for getting into the action on a Wednesday, new release night. Thanks, everybody, for getting in. Remember, if you bought at least three teams, you'll be eligible for an entry to get $25 a break credit, one entry max. You're like, Joe, what if I buy more than three teams? Well, then you block other people from getting in, thus improving your odds. All right, so as you know from the previous break, I marked all the boxes here, box two for break two. Good luck, everyone. And we've got plenty of certified basketball in the store with break credits. Go and get it. Special thing for breaks one through four, all cards ship in breaks one through four. And then starting with break five, we will, uh, we will not ship veteran base. So those vet commons won't be shipped out. Starting with break five. So if that makes a difference to you, breaks one and four is where you want to be. I think there's no rhyme or reason to the to the direction the cards are. <laughs> All right, good luck, everybody. See, there's there's no rhyme or reason. We got Zach Levine, 181 out of 149 for the Bulls. He had a, some hot games, EA, with the Bulls. Justin in the house as well. What's up, Justin? So all these right here will uh, we'll sleeve and top load later, all the serial number ones before they go out. If they're, if they're to 25 or under, then we'll, uh, we'll sleeve and top, top load them right away. And our on-card auto right here is Bruce Bowen Jr. Bruce Bowen Jr.? Rookie roll call for the Pistons. Is that really Bruce Bowen's kid? Detroit Pistons. That'll go to Phillip with the Pistons. Out of 199. And for the Celtics, out of 199. Dino Raja, choice signatures. 199 out of 199 for Jeremy Anderson on the Celtics. All right, next box. Good luck, everybody. Remember, two autographs, one memorabilia card per box on average. All right, good luck, ladies and gents. Um, I've got some NBA picks for you tonight, ladies and gentlemen, If you're in for entertainment purposes only. Got Orlando, plus six points. Brooklyn, plus one and a half. Milwaukee Bucks, minus ten points. And then two Moneyline underdogs, Dallas and Phoenix. We'll be keeping track of those games throughout the night. All right, good luck, boys and girls. Next box, got Anthony Davis playing some good ball. We got rookie roll call, Kyrie Thomas for the Pistons. Another one for Detroit and another one for Phillip. Now, Dirk, not on the, Luka Doncic on the box, Mr. Mike's Daddy.
And there's another Piston, Blake Griffin. 138 out of 149 for Phillip and the Pistons. Tyreek Evans. We got DeRozan to 199. Spurs edition, by the way. And we got Zaire Smith for the Sixers. Nice one for the Sixers. Anthony Barkey with that one. Nice certified potential for the Sixers. There's Grayson Allen to 299. I'm not sure if Grayson Allen's getting minutes or not. Is he? And there's Jason Tatum to 99. And Paul Millsap. All right, yeah, there he is. Luka Doncic. A lot, a lot of great rookies this year, ladies and gentlemen. DeAndre Ayton, obviously, and your number one overall pick to Phoenix. The Suns could be a scary team. Another year to Marvin Bagley the third, second overall for the Kings. Luka Doncic picked third by the Hawks, then traded immediately to the Dallas Mavericks. Jaron Jackson Jr. for the Grizz, and then Trey Young. Oh yeah, Trey Young went to Atlanta. That's what it was. Trey Young. To Atlanta, Mo Bamba, Magic, Wendell Carter Jr., Bulls, Colin Sexton for the Cavs, Kevin Knox for the Knicks, um, My Mikhail Bridges for the Sixers. So th those are your top 10 picks right there. Those are, uh, those are the big rookies you're chasing. And I'm sure there's always a another rookie or two, if not more who will kind of emerge. Like, think about how, uh, you know, how far uh, Donovan Mitchell fell. And then he blew up. Out of, three, out of uh, 299, Miles Bridges. And then certified potential for the Rockets, Vincent Edwards. Arthur Hackett with the Rockets. EA is looking for Mr. Wendell. Oh, Mr. Wendell. That's an, that's an old, uh, old hip-hop song, isn't it? Mr. Wendell. Luka Doncic out of 149. Fabric of the game for the Mavs. Jeremy Tillman with the Mavericks. Arrested Development, that's right. That's right, Elvis. Good call, Mr. Wendell, by Arrested Development. Thaddeus Young to 99. Save one of those Ben Simmons, too. And certified potential, Keita Bates-Diop. Minnesota Timberwolves. So what are the what are the Timberwolves do now? I think Thibodeau is is getting some of those GM powers kind of relinquished or taken away from him by the owner, or I guess he's president of basketball operations or something like that. But but I believe he did not negotiate that Jimmy Butler deal. Thibodeau didn't negotiate that Jimmy Butler deal, so. I don't know. I don't know if that if the whole it didn't work for um, for Doc Rivers. He he tried to be like GM manager, co GM coach kind of thing. Didn't really work for him. And now that he's just focusing on coaching, it seems like he it seems like the Clippers are playing pretty good team basketball and, and staying really competitive. Or maybe Thibodeau's just out. 
at the end of the season? That's possible. I like Jimmy Butler, Mr. Mike's daddy. I think maybe, you know, it's been causing some problems, I guess, in, in, in Chicago and in Minnesota, but... But I think he's, it's out of just sheer, uh, it almost seems more like out of sheer over-competitiveness, out of a sheer big chip on his shoulder, as opposed to just being a drama queen, you know what I mean? But I think he's going to fit well, he should fit well with, uh, with the Sixers, they could use a veteran guy like him, young team like the Sixers could use a vet guy like him to pair along with, with Redick and whatnot. Another veteran presence in the locker room could be a good thing. That might be the thing that takes him, if he can stay healthy, if he plays well, fits in well, takes pressure off the young guys, and that could that could be enough to take them to who knows. Uh, there's Diallo, Hamidou Diallo. Any relation to Cheek Diallo? Uh, OKC Thunder, John Alfie's with that one. And there's Wendell Carter Jr., fabric of the game for EA at a 149. There's Gordon Hayward at a 199 who said he'd be open to a bench roll as he makes his way back into basketball shape, I suppose, after that long layoff. Out of 199, Josh Jackson. And rookie roll call, Jacob Evans for the Warriors. Arthur Hackett with the, with the Golden State Warriors. Undergoing a little bit of drama th this week. Lakers, my Lakers will be facing CJ McCollum at all later tonight. I don't have a pick on that game. I'm just hoping my Lakers can just win. Um, Lakers have been uh, undefeated since Tyson Chandler joined the team, believe it or not. They, uh, I knew that they needed sort of a, a bigger presence there. I didn't realize that Tyson Chandler was going to be the one unlocking the W's for the, uh, for the Lakers. All right, two boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. Preston, yeah, you do need some hits. About maybe some Jaron Jackson Jr. Steph Curry, another ten days on the DL. I I heard somewhere that even in the KD era, in the Kevin Durant era, this is for you, uh, for you people who, for entertainment purposes only, enjoy investing in professional sports teams on a given night. Um, so I, heard, I was listening to a podcast, and they were saying that in the Kevin Durant era, without Steph Curry, they only cover the spread 35% of the time, which is pretty low. So, for what it's worth. Take it for what it's worth. For entertainment purposes only, of course. There's Devin Booker out of 199. This is not financial advice. We got certified potential Gary Trent Jr. for the Portland Trailblazer. That'll be for William. William, does he have certified potential? Panini seems to think so. What's the correct size top loader that I have here? There he is. Reminds me of the musician Gary Clark Jr. Take a listen to him. He's pretty good. If you like old bluesy rock, neo soul, or whatever you want to call it these days, whatever everyone's everything's it's just rock and roll. It's good. Uh, Julius Irving. I've heard of him. 004 out of 149. A relic. Is this wow? Game worn material for Julius Irving. 
That's pretty nice for the 76ers. That'll be for Anthony Barkey. And we've got someone who needs to work on his auto. Mo Wagner for the uh, Lakers. Anthony with my Lakers. I can just go right up the street, Anthony. I can go right to the Lakers El Segundo practice facility just a few miles north of us here at jazbeescasebreaks.com. And I'll just be like, I'll just wait for Mo after practice and be like, we got to work on this, buddy. You're a Laker. I'll, I'll talk to him, Nola. I'll be, I'll be like, you're, you're a Laker, man. Lakers can't sign like that. Part of a billion-dollar franchise. Like. I don't know. We've seen some incidents. It seems some instances where people, some players' autographs uh, uh, get better over the season. So we'll hold out hope. Dalvin, Dalvin Cook's autograph got better over the season. I, I, I hold out hope. That one baseball player for the Mets, Andres Jimenez, his autograph got better, I believe. Even like Mo, I'll take that. All right, but I still, as a player though, I still have high hopes for. Uh, for Morris Boringer to be maybe uh, develop into a decent big guy in the next year or two. We'll see what happens. Last box, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. I won't forget about that. Got to buy at least three teams to get one entry max. Yeah, I enjoyed watching him at uh, – I enjoyed watching Mo at uh, Michigan, right? I'm pretty sure he was a Michigan guy um, in the tournament. So – Definitely, definitely hoping that he, you know, evolves and develops. I don't think the Lakers signed him thinking that he was going to just ball out from day one. I think he could be a good good guy to develop. There's a rookie roll call, Robert Williams for the Celtics. Who's got the C's? Uh, that'll be... And Mo Wagner was drafted uh, 25th overall. Um, that'll be for Jeremy Anderson and the Celtics. And we got Fabric of the Game, Trey Young. Out of 149, Fabric of the Game. It's a nice relic there for Chris Perrin and the Hawks. Like Trey Young early in the season has been playing pretty well. What I love about basketball is that all of these young rookies, you're going to start to see, you know, really emerge. Maybe after the new year or something like that. And then you start seeing some separation on who the, who the big names are going to be. But invest now. Because I think a, a lot of this, for those of you who don't regularly collect hoops, you'll be surprised at how well this stuff does on a secondary market. More Hawks for Chris. Freshman Fabric to 149. Kevin Huter for the Hawks. Hear, hear Kevin going to Chris and the Atlanta Hawks. There's Jacob Evans to 199. And there you go, Porzingis in the back. Nice, ladies and gentlemen. So break two in the books. And let's give away a little bit of money here. Let's go to the list. And let's alphabetize that list by your first names. Anthony got at least three.
John Alfie's got at least three. Preston got at least three. So there you go. One out of three chance to get $25 of break credit. Good luck, you guys. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize that list. Six and a four, ten times. Name on top gets 25 bucks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. Good luck. After ten times, stays with Preston. Yeah, six and a four, ten times. There you go, Preston. No hits for you, but $25 of break credit coming your way. Thanks for getting in. Thanks for making it happen. We got more in the store. Brand new, 1819 certified basketball. Finally get to check out the new rookie class in hoops. So check it out on jazbeescasebreaks.com.